we're going to graph systems of linear inequalities. And so remember that when we have a linear inequality in two variables and we're asked to graph it, we have to draw the line with dashed or solid, depending on whether it's a greater than or a less than or greater than or equal or less than or equal line, and then we had to shade. And while that's still going to be true, we only want to shade the region that makes all of them true. So let's start with an example. Suppose we have a system, x plus 2y is less than or equal to 8, and 2x minus 3y is less than or equal to 9. And so we're going to graph these on a real number line. And x plus 2y is less than or equal to 8 is a great one for intercepts. We have an x-intercept at 8. So have an 8 and a y-intercept at 4 because they both divide evenly. So here's our first line, and it's a less than or equal, so it's going to be solid. And if we plug 0, 0 in, 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 8, which is true. So he's going to shade underneath himself. But we can't shade yet because this is just one of our lines. Our second line is best solved for, and notice I'm treating it as an equal sign just because I need the line, not the shading yet. So we're going to start at minus 3. And we're going to go up 2 and over 3, and then up 2 and over 3 again. And we get this line. And when we plug 0, 0 into this original, we also get that it's true. So he wants to shade up here. And the question is, what do they both want to shade? And the answer is they both want to shade where 0, 0 is. So we just take our pencil and we shade it in like so and we get our answer. Notice this means that this region, this region, and this region are unshaded. Only this region gets shaded. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have 2x plus y is greater than 2 and 2x plus y is less than minus 2. Now notice in both cases, intercepts are going to work really well. Our x-intercept of the first one is 1, and our y-intercept is 2. And we get a dashed line going through those points. Our other one has an x-intercept of minus 1 and a y-intercept of minus 2. And so it looks like this. And notice that we have parallel lines. In our blue, 0 is not bigger than 2, so we're shading away from 0, 0 nor is it smaller than minus 2. So again, we're shading away. And notice that because we're shading away in both directions, it means that we cannot shade anything. So there is no shading in this problem. We just draw the lines and leave it at that, meaning there's no solution. Nothing makes both of these true at the same time. One final example, it's especially possible with our systems of inequalities to have multiple inequalities in effect at the same time. So suppose that we have the following information, and we're asked to graph this. Well, the nice thing is these are all nice and easy to graph. In fact, let's use purple for this one. This is a nice solid line on the y-axis, and we've got to be bigger than it. That's this one right here. Four is the y-axis, and it's going up. So very neatly, just with these two last equations, we've limited ourselves to this upper right section. Well, with that in mind, all we have to do is figure out the other two. So let's put our one down. And it's got intercepts at 0, 3, and 3, 0. And he's also solid going through here. And then our red line for equation 2 has a y-intercept at 2 and an x-intercept at 4. And both of these guys being less than are trying to shade towards 0, 0. So our shaded region is this little tiny, almost circular piece. And that's our graph. Now, notice that all of our points here, I'm going to all of our shading happens inside this boxed-in region. If everything is shaded, this means this is a bounded inequality. 
we're, we're caught in on every side by bounding. When we ha only have two lines, we never have a bounded inequality. The two examples we did previously are unbounded. And whenever we're bounded, we have boundary points. And we can create systems to find those boundary points. And so that's wherever it meets. So this one's real easy. That one's at 0, 0. And it came from lines 3 and 4. And this one's not too bad either. He's at 3, 0. And he came from lines 4 and 1. So that's where this line and this line meet. This one as well is found at 0, 2. And that's where 2 and 3 met. And our last one, is it's nice because it lined up neatly. It's at 2, 1. But it's where lines 1 and 2 met. And so if you need to, you can figure out what the lines are, create a system, x plus y equals 3 and 2x plus y equals 4, because we want to know where that point itself is. So we want the equations. And solve this using elimination, and you'll also find that you get 2, 1 as well.